Tuesday, January 30th. You guys, January is still not over. <laughs> this has been the longest month of my life. Um, I think you guys know. Oh, let me do let me do an introduction. Hello, my name is Taylor. I just started this YouTube channel like two weeks ago, so everybody's new here. Hello. If you've seen another video of mine before, welcome back and welcome if you're new for the month of january i am fasting from alcohol social media and desserts because i have the biggest craziest most intense sweet tooth and i just wanted to kind of like take my power back because i was falling victim to sweets um but today is january 30th which means i only have two more sleeps until I can be back on social media and I can have desserts again because I think that everything is okay in moderation or that I think that things are okay in moderation. Um, drinking, however, I'm, I'm planning not to drink again until my birthday, which isn't for another couple months. And that's fine. I usually take very extensive drinking breaks because if you don't know, I work for a beverage alcohol company and it is really easy to drink every day and i'm all about um responsible drinking so take breaks if you need to so like i just mentioned my birthday is coming up in a couple months and i'm going on vacation for my birthday and i have a vision i have a goal for what i want for what i want my body to look like I, so I was a competitive cheerleader for all of high school and a lot of junior high. Granted, that was a really long time ago. <laughs> but I had, at one point in my life, always had abs, always had a like 25 inch waist, was just like very small and petite. And obviously as you get older, you're, as a woman, your body naturally starts to prepare for childbirth. Um, and so it, you know, keeps weight on if you like don't actively try to work against that. And I'm not, I, I work out, but I'm not as consistent with working out as I could be. So I say all of that to say, I am, I have a goal of how I want my body to look by my birthday. And I think with not drinking, because I find that when I'm drinking and not working out, the weight is on and it's sticking. Whereas if I'm not working out, or whereas if I am working out and not drinking, I feel like I'm. it's a lot easier for me to get toned and for me to, yeah, because I don't think I need to lose weight. I just want to like tone up. I want my abs back. I would like to lose a couple inches off my waist. I think that would be a moment. We'll have a meeting. <laughs> I'm working from home today. Surprise, surprise. You guys, I just, I think it's because it's the winter and it's just so cold and ugly and dreary outside. I haven't seen the sun in days. Like, I just don't want to leave my house. It, I just, I don't want to. I have no desire whatsoever to leave my house. The only places I go is to work and like maybe to a store or two on the weekends. And that is like what brings me joy right now. But it's just cold. Like during the summer, we have like a lounge in my apartment building. So I'll go work in the lounge or like sit on the little patio thing. But I can't do that in the winter time, obviously. So I just stay home cozy and comfortable in my blanket and my sweaters. Um, I just completely veered off topic. Anyway, back to working out. I have a goal of how I want to look. And so I'm going to use my YouTube channel as a way to hold me accountable because I feel like it's one thing to have a goal secret, not secretly, personally, a personal goal that you keep to yourself. I have told friends, but other than that, I keep it to myself, but it's different when you're putting it on the internet and then you don't stick to it. You're publicly posting about accomplishing something and then you just don't and you give up. 
So I feel like, at least that's just like how my mind is working. Like I don't want to post about something and then be like, hmm, <laughs> didn't keep up with it. So that's my plan right now. So I have started to like block time in my calendar for going to the gym as if like the same way that I would if I were booking a meeting, I'm booking time to go to the gym so that it's in my calendar. And I really only need to go like three to four days a week. Like I'm not working out every single day. So that's the plan for right now. No, that's, that's the plan, period. That is the plan. I'm going to be a skinny legend for my birthday. Anyway, I had something else I wanted to talk about. I'm going to the chiropractor tomorrow. I used to go to the chiropractor in 2021, 20, back when I lived in Chicago, but my back has started to really bother me. I think it's my mattress, like I'm 99% sure it's my mattress, but I wanna go to a chiropractor and like talk through the whole thing with this person. Um, but my back is just like, my upper left portion of my back has been really bothering me. It feels like it needs to crack, but I like don't know how to crack the top of my back. So I'm gonna go to the chiropractor. I'm super excited. I When I was going, I loved going. I'm someone who like cracks their knuckles multiple times a day. I'm constantly cracking my back. I don't know how to crack my neck, but I like crack my ankles, my wrists, everything. So I love, oh my God, the thought of it like, I love, I don't know, it has to be like some kind of scientific word or something or like phenomenon for why people crack their knuckles and stuff, but I am one of those people very much so. So I'm really looking forward to going to the Cairo. Someone is outside of my building taking a picture of themselves. I don't know what's going on. Baby, this is the time. Y'all, that Coco Jones song is stuck in my head. I don't know what it's called. It's stuck in my head right now. Baby, this is the time. I keep singing that same part over and over again. This is going to be, I don't know what this video is going to be. I'm just going to throw some clips together and hope for the best. I think I'm going to the office tomorrow and Thursday because I have a couple in-person situations but otherwise we're in the crib today we are at home it's cold y'all i just don't want to leave my house my house is so warm and cozy i don't want to leave this is my happy place my place of comfort my place of peace and i'm going to maintain my peace in this season so yeah let me get on this call last night i was watching a miss from ashton vlog rim life vlogs and she made chia seed pudding. Now, I've made chia seed pudding once before, but I didn't really, I don't think I made it right because um, I didn't love it. And I got, oh no. There are no more clean spoons. Okay, I need to wash a spoon really quick. It's time for lunch. I am listening in on our town hall so like talking about our earnings and share growth and market value and market share and all that good stuff from h1 our our h1 is the rest of the world's h2 because our fiscal starts in july i'm having i made this pasta salad the other day and this is some romaine. I'm gonna have some fruit on the side. And it's gonna be real good. This pasta salad has broccoli, tomato, bell pepper, cucumber, and feta. And then I made a dressing with Dijon, um, a bunch of other shit that I can't remember right now. So I've just been putting this on top of some greens. And it's pretty good. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of dressing. I recognize that this is a hefty serving, but I'm really hungry. And I'm going to the gym after this. I'm gonna have some pineapple and 
grapes, and blackberries. And this is my lunch. I'm gonna go back to my desk, I guess, and um, charge my laptop. Actually, no, I'm gonna lay on the couch. Charge my laptop. I have one last call. That was so good. I'm not a really big salad person. <clears throat> the only salad that I'll really eat is from Cava or a Caesar salad. But if you've ever had Portillo's, this tastes just like a Portillo's chopped salad so good and we obviously don't have portillo's here in new york but i would eat it in chicago and their chopped salad is like one of my favorite menu items um this tastes just like that and the same little noodles the diddly diddlini noodles are what they use in the portillo chopped salad so this might be a new staple menu item because because i don't like salads i don't typically eat like a lot of leafy greens I don't even know if romaine is considered like a leafy green, like a kale or a spinach is, but the fact that I'm eating salad, I feel like I should get a reward for that. Um, but my next meeting is in like 10 minutes. And I'm going to go to the gym. I changed into this little set. This is the CRZ, so long sleeve <clears throat> square neck top from uh amazon and my best friend got it for me for christmas but it just got delivered like the other day um i've been thirsty to go to the gym just fucking wear it it's really soft really nice quality i have the lululemon wonder train leggings and it's definitely the same level of softness but it's not as thick I have felt the aligns before and the ones that I have on right now remind me more of the aligns. I can post a link to this below, but like what I sent her. Um, but I do really like this line. And when I was on TikTok, like before my, my social break, this woman that I followed would talk about this brand all the time. This I think it's called Crazy or a CRZ, whatever. Yoga. They have really, I mean, so far I really like it. Really great stuff. And I think this whole set was maybe like $60, $50, $60, somewhere around there. They have this really cute tennis skirt that I'm thinking about getting because I have like a little outfit in mind and it just looks so cute. And I could also work out in it if I wanted to. Um, but I want to get a couple more leggings and tops and stuff. Really cute, really affordable. It's like a little lemon dupe. But yeah, lunch was delish. Finish my fruit. It is now a little after three. I have had two impromptu meetings this afternoon. One out literally just now and another at 4.30. My lips are chronically dry. I'm trying to go to the gym, but I don't know where my gym shoes are. And I literally only have one pair of gym shoes to work out in because again, not the most consistent. I don't know where they could be. Why wouldn't they be in my closet? Maybe they're in Francis' closet. Found them. Naturally, I forgot that I went to the gym yesterday. I literally just walked on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. But they were at the front door. So I'm putting my shoes on. Here's a little gym OOTD. I have on that top I showed you guys earlier. The leggings, my shoes and this little h&m zip up because it's really cold in here but i don't want to take it off because my gym is also usually really cold i was going to do i had my um my bun buns in earlier but i had a meeting this morning with someone that i but two no i had a few meetings today actually maybe i won't do that with people that i 
don't work with very often so I want it to be camera on for those so I took my bun buns out okay that'll do and I'm gonna put on a little headband so that I don't sweat my hair out too too badly although it's not very like tight it needs to it needs to fit tighter like whose head is this big like if I sweat it it's gonna poof up anyway. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Never mind. We're just gonna. Oh, okay. At this point, I'm gonna have to 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 Ponytail is in. Let's go to the gym. We're in the gym. And I have it all to myself. I'm about to do 30 minutes on the tread. No, I'm gonna do 15 minutes on the tread because I don't have time to do 30. And then I'm gonna do like an upper body workout. It's giving Sonali Lathan in women basketball. I'm back from the gym. It is 4.15. My meeting is at 4.30. I had a great workout. I did include some clips of said workout. I did all upper body today and I increased the weight on the last set and just did as many reps as possible. Um, I have quite a bit of emails to catch up on after only being gone for like barely an hour and I got a call while I was at the gym. So lots to catch up on. The thing with emails is that like, it takes a minute to respond. So I have six unread emails. The rest I read while I was at the gym and on my way up from the gym. So I feel like I can knock out everything that I need to within the next 14 minutes before my meeting starts. So answer some emails with me. This cat just love being in the bathtub. Every time I shower, she sits between the shower liner and the shower curtain and just like watches the waterfall. And then when I get out, she like stands in front of the faucet and or the yeah, in front of the faucet and watches the water drip down. Lady, what do you think? Hi girls, good morning. It is Thursday, February 1st, which means my social fast is over. My dessert fast is over. Exciting times. Today's an office day, so I'm about to get ready to go in. I put on lashes, a Kiss Falscara, and I'm in at it. It does something to the face. We have a ladybug. And I'll come back once. I'm running late. It's like almost 8.30. I have to leave by 9. So, 9.15. So, I need to wash my face, do my makeup, get dressed, all that good stuff. So, I'll come back when I'm done. Okay. Face is washed and moisturized. I'm gonna take out my heatless curls that have somehow snipped. I'm not feeling the most confident in these today. Yeah, oh my god. I 
think the hair is just old, but it's gonna last me another week, so too bad. Too bad. Whatever. It doesn't look awful. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> sure. Whatever. It actually doesn't matter because I had to go. It's 8.37. I forgot to ring back on before I forget. I need to do my makeup. But I'm wearing a white shirt. So I'm deciding if I want to... Deciding if I want to put the shirt on first and then do my makeup or do my makeup and then put the shirt on. I think because I'm running late, I'm going to put my makeup and then I'm just going to do everything now and then go be dressed. <laughs> History month. I was thinking through my day <clears throat> and everything that I had to get done. I remembered, or all the meetings rather, I remember there's a happy hour. There's a Black History happy hour today. It's a Black History month. Power to the people. Makeup and hair are done. Very simple for the office. Now I'm gonna go get dressed. I want a smoothie. So this is what we're having. I'm very brave to be doing this in my white t-shirt. Okay, this is for me and France. Excuse me, Annas. I got this coffee peanut butter from the Brooklyn Roasting Company. Very, very good. I'm gonna put it in the smoothie for some extra coffee peanut butter. good it's 856 little oats so that it's filling some cinnamon vanilla just a splash and almond milk oh ice we have an ice maker but I don't know how to use it so this will do we have the Beast Blender, so it just kind of goes on its own for a minute. Very good. While I was blending, I was like, damn, I should add yogurt. But I'll do that next time. I'm gonna leave half for France and I'm gonna put the rest of mine or mine in the in this it's like a travel coffee thingy that I got. because there's a lot of people there and a lot of what I do involves pro pro proprietary information um, I'm home now I just changed into leggings and a big t-shirt I'm about to head to the gym I needed to charge my phone though first though because I did get some clips today and I'm back on social media so I was on Instagram for a decent amount of time I had my first dessert today in over a, over a month, 
in well yeah I guess technically over four weeks um ladybug is here you can't really see her I don't think you can anyway I can't see what the camera can see because I can it's slipping what the fork but yeah let me grab my gym shoes put my shoes on I think I'm gonna walk on the treadmill for probably like 15 to 20 minutes or so I, I'm, I'm trying to go while I'm still while I still have the energy I went to the happy hour at the office because today is the first day of black history month so it was the black history month happy hour and fun fact black history month happy hour was my first happy hour that I went to last year so this was like really full circle for me I'd started January 17th and I think the happy hour was like February 3rd but like I had moved and all this other stuff so we here now I need to drink some water because I've had two cups of coffee, a smoothie. I've had water today, but I think I need more before I go try to work out. Today's going to be leg day. I'm already afraid for how sore I'm going to be tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m. So, I don't know if this is a good idea, but we have to gotta get these gains. I'm going to be on a beach in a couple months. I'm trying to be slim thick with my cute ass. So... Let's go to the gym. Oh my god. I would go crazy. Good morning. We have the doctor. That's why we need to the doctor. Don't you know I'm trying to vlog? I'm getting my blood drawn. I actually don't mind getting my blood drawn. I wish I had my little sticky thing. I don't mind getting my blood drawn. Oh, look guys, another pimple. Maybe I lied about like not getting acne. I've been getting adult acne for the past several weeks. Not the vibe, but we at the doctor. Wow, I really look so crazy. Whatever, it's raining in New York City. I haven't seen the sun in days. I'm just doing my best. Rose. I'm making mac and cheese. Real gourmet cooking over here. Dress it up. What are you doing? Yum. And I'm trying a new poppy flavor. Cherry limeade. It's poppy, yeah. Ooh. What did that taste like? The lime is super strong. There's no cherry. It's good though. Mm-hmm. It's time for the gym again, you guys. I just like vlogging this week has been difficult because uh -oh. it's just it's just been difficult. I did not vlog much this week. So I don't know what this vlog is gonna be like or if they're even if this is even gonna be a vlog. But anyway, one of my videos got over a hundred views. Ah! I'm gagged. Like that's never happened before it's all very exciting don't look at my armpits i'm shaving tonight i don't know fridays are like because it's the because it's the end of the week sorry i just got an email i shave on fridays because it's the end of the week i'm gonna be fresh for the weekend you know and it's winter so like i don't shave as often but don't look just don't look don't look I've been thinking about waxing them, but 
I don't like it doesn't grow that much so I'm like what's the point so yeah we're going to the gym another day another another day another workout I'm just gonna put my hair in a little perny we're gonna do biceps and shoulders today y'all you can tell my hair ain't never been this long because I'll be walking around like yeah I got, um, I walked to sleep room with my coworker yesterday and she was like, is that the same soap press from Ulta? I was like, yeah, it is. I'm all of a sudden, all of a sudden feeling inspired to do my own soap press. There has to be a better way to do this. Lady is obsessed with the bathtub, so just ignore her. But anyway, I've been feeling inspired to give myself a soap press once I'm done with this, which probably will be like next weekend because I can't remember if I told the vlog already, but I'm going back to DC on Wednesday for work, funnily enough. Um, and I have an event, so with my hair, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna probably just like curl it and that'll be what I, the first and last time I put heat on it since I've gotten it done. Or I'll do heatless curls actually. So that might make more sense. But anyway, I think I'm going to give myself a soap press. I've seen all the TikToks, I've seen all the YouTube videos, and I feel like I can, I, I feel like I can do it. Have I ever given myself a soap press successfully? No. But will I? Absolutely. I believe that I can do it. I'm wearing this, it's like a sports bra top from Old Navy, actually. I really love their workout pieces. I have this and then I have a brown one and I really, really like it, but I haven't been able to find this exact one again. It has like adjustable straps on the back and I have not, every time I've gone to Old Navy looking for it, haven't seen it. I think I got this in Chicago, actually in 2022. Haven't seen it since. And I'm just wearing Lululemon Wonder Trains. Okay. Let's go to the gym. Let's go. To, I don't want to go. <laughs> but Franz is already there. And like, so my man being there. Like I said in the last video, if my man going to be there, why would not? And that includes the gym. And that's the message. Hello. Hey, girls. It is Saturday, February 3rd. And I want to ask you a question. Do you notice anything different today? The sun is shining in New York City. We haven't had sunshine, honestly, in so long. I don't think in like over a week. So New York City, AKA Brooklyn, is bussing today. It is currently like 11.30. Um, and I need to edit. There's a video going live tomorrow. And for some reason on iMovie, it's, like an encrypted file or something so it won't ex export so i need to like pretty much re-edit the whole thing thankfully it's only like 20 minutes worth of footage so should be okay it's a i think it's gonna be called like i don't even know <laughs> it's gonna be called like probably i don't know i had a really good idea in mind but i can't remember what it was i gotta start writing this stuff down this vlog is definitely like all over the place. I don't, I genuinely do not know what footage I got this week. I've been recording since like, I don't even know when I, I don't even know. I've been recording maybe since like Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, somewhere around there. I knew I was working from home. So it had to have been Tuesday. I think I've been recording since Tuesday. It is now Saturday. It's just like a mod podge of footage. But that, that is just like the story of my life, I feel like. Sometimes the weeks just kind of like mush together. This week was a very like personally, a very stressful and like emotional one. So the clips are kind of a reflection of that. Like just literally all over the place. So I'm gonna put it out anyway because this is my reality TV show. I was telling my therapist I was starting a YouTube channel. She was like, oh, so like reality TV? And I was like, yeah, kinda, I guess, if you wanna put it that way. So, this is reality, this is my real life. And I'm closing out this vlog. Elise Sim, thank you so, so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one.
Bye.